So uh, just make an intro to uh, this week. Um, so I had some big success this week. I uh, got uh, got two motors uh, bolted down under there and uh, the uh, common shaft. And I will, uh, after this intro, uh, I will show you the part where I uh, got the two motors running because I'm sure you're interested in that uh, uh, mostly. But um, so as you can see now, I, I have some some chain slack issues it was really tight to start with but anyway so right after uh, this I will uh, show you the uh, the motors running and then I will kind of go uh, chronologically uh, what all I did this week so I've got the motors chained together now and I'm uh, gonna try to start them up and see how well this goes here Pretty good, but I see a lot of chain flop. making some progress on the frame there press done welding for the the uh, horizontal shaft uh, side there uh, like this um, lawnmowers sit on the far side I still got to weld the mounts for them but uh, I got the first motor mounted on here and I got the uh, I got the frame bolted down solid to the my other frame on the bottom there so get another engine here that I built up had some problems with it. The, uh, the front uh, bushing uh, was tight, so it took some sanding and some crank polishing. And I got her going though, so we'll uh, we'll see if we can get it started again here. Two motors running separate to warm them up so they'll be easier to start. Not sure if I'll be able to pull on both cords at the same time. So having a minor problem with my bearings here. Uh, I got the first one to take the grease. It's spitting out around the shaft seal there but the other two it spits out between the bearing and the housing and uh, therefore none of it's going in to the bearing and I, I tore the third one apart and verified that and then um, so I popped the seal out there with a small straight blade screwdriver be gentle with it, it turns out there is some factory grease in there, you can see there is some grease, but um, rather than unbolt this whole thing here again, I, uh, I'm just packing grease in from this one side. So if the central bearing seizes up, we'll know why. But 
and we already I already did that to the third bearing but so uh, now there is a groove in the bearing outer uh, race that has to line up it has to be on the forward side of this because if you see this is towards that side and I made sure that I had that lined up it's not like I've got it in backwards uh, it was lined up but it still insists on peeing out between the outer race and the housing rather than as you can see there's no red grease in here so just one of those problems well there I successfully shut the mini down there that was uh, that was pretty exciting I didn't like walking past it there it wasn't that uh, loose when I started I guess you, I guess you get initial uh, chain stretch um, I the only way I could uh, my calculations worked out good um, but I still need a little bit of tension on it so I put a shim under the one side of the top motor that was my uh, my plan all along was to shim the top motor um, now apparently oh yeah that's that's crazy how much slack it's got now jeez it was actually pretty tight at the start but you tell from the noises it was making and things it was uh, working hard I had them firing opposite like a two cylinder the one fired in one turn then the next one so uh, but anyway so at least I can uh, start the two cylinder up that way so apparently I have some uh, some more testing to do here and uh, figuring out uh, shims under motors and all that fun thing things in order to uh, get rid of this uh, serious chain uh, slop there um, I from watching looking at it when it was running I I think I'm getting some frame flex too just from the from the way it was uh, acting there it was almost like get my foot unhooked there almost like the motors were rocking a bit this way twisting that uh, cross member so maybe I uh, will be adding some more uh, gussets underneath them uh, kind of like I did on uh, this one I can't go that extreme though because the the chains right here I got all kinds of limitations on these things with the chain drive at least uh, I know that my length calculation is right though because I had uh, the bottom engine sitting back here and I was able to install a starter cover on it without running into the shaft on the other one so at least the spacing is correct so anyway lots of little things to work out but at least uh, at least I got something uh, major done this week got, uh, got the two engines uh, chained up and running there it's a little bit of excitement there I uh, I didn't exactly like running past it but I uh, didn't have much choice I uh, had to get to my uh, shut off screwdrivers <laughs> so that's why I had to shut the camera off there it didn't like it I shut the bottom one down first and uh, the top one man it I thought the governor spring was disconnected but it lugged right down dragging the, the dead engine so luckily I got her shut down a couple seconds later maybe I'll get some of those old uh, Briggs uh, flip things there that ground the spark plug out these ones don't have the the spark cut off like uh, lawnmower engines do this one down here is a, a 1985 it does have something it's got the wire going there but I don't think it uh, uh, works so anyway at least they got two test engines here bottom one's not very pretty it was off a rototiller and man was it you think it's dirty now you should have seen it before anyway everybody uh, have a good one I'll keep uh, keep working away on this finally managed to get reliable power in the focus as you can see she's she's lost a few ponies but I'm sure I put it on a big enough diet we can take care of that Much sun reflecting. Anyway, it's a four horse Briggs.